I soon discovered that life on the ocean didn't mean they could escape the usual household chores. Their clothes needed washing, somehow. Right. Bravo. But this wasn't going to be your usual trip to the laundrette. So what are our chances of uh, getting through this dry? Our biggest danger is as we surf in on a wave to get up the river, it's going to start to broadside us. You have to stick your paddle in yep. to turn us one way or the other okay. and keep us steady, <laughs> or we are going over. OK. This is extreme laundry, Rick. <laughs> it's extreme laundry. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Here we go, go. Here we go. 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 <laughs> You've got to sink your oar with mine a bit, Ben. I think we might have been better to swim. <laughs> I think you might have been right. Oh, dear. Um, all right, yep. can do yep. what you can. Going straight through. Yep. It's quite snug, I've got to just adapt a bit. <laughs> Try and bring it round. Yeah. I'm, I'm just paddling with one, I'm afraid. Oh, Mine broke. OK. OK, let's go. Yeah. My beautiful laundrette. <laughs> we found a quiet spot on the river where the water was clear. All right, I'll start you washing these, then. How often do you come and do your laundry, then? Uh, every couple of weeks or so. Do you think your family has any idea of this side to your life out here? I doubt it. I think they think I have it a lot easier than I do. Right? Are you a close family? I mean, do you miss them? Yeah, yeah, as much as anyone misses anyone. I'm not really big on missing people. But... I mean, like, a lot of people I know would say, I couldn't do this, I'd miss my friends too much. Yeah. So. Well, I don't really miss people to that extent that it will stop me doing something, you know. There's an appeal within a limited time frame of being nomadic. I'd love to travel around the world for six months, maybe. Would I want to do it for years and years, effectively committing yourself to the rest of your life, practically? I would find that hard. I wanted to find out what drew Rick to this type of lifestyle. You've been a musician, a guide, and a, a, a horse trainer. That's quite an eclectic mix of, of disciplines, though. I thought so, but actually there is a theme, you know, and it's moving from one place to another. Do you think that that is what has drawn you to living aboard a, a yacht? I think I was just daydreaming about a much simpler life, and, uh, and of course, a simpler life that involves movement as well. Did, did you have a, an image of where you wanted to be? We just fancied being a speck on the ocean. I saw an, a, a great aerial picture of one tiny little white speck, which is a, you think at first is a bit of rubbish in the sea or something, but if you zoom it, it's just one guy on a yacht, you know. Yeah, that sounds great. Sign me up. <laughs> Do you think maybe there is an element of escapism? Are you, are you running away from something? No, I wouldn't say so. I'm escaping to, not escaping from. People get addicted to comfort of the, your regular friends and always being around your family, which is nice, but the price is too high. My favourite quote said, for the sake of comfort, you give up knowing the world, and I thought that's certainly true. I can identify with that feeling of escaping, as Rick has entrusted me as captain on our current voyage. How's my helming? All right, pretty good. How's it out here, Skip? It's nice. I've been down below being kitchen bitch. It feels like the wind is picking up a little bit now. You are completely correct, which is about time we can get rid of the flaming rattle box. And we'll get the main sail mm -hmm. and then we'll raise it like you did before on Calypso 1. Do you yeah, where do you want me to raise it from? Same place, up there on the, the right-hand side of the mast, yeah. The right-hand side, yeah, I see. OK. That's the starboard side. The starboard side. I'll get my nautical terms back in, don't you worry. <laughs> so shall I just put her into neutral? Yeah, you can just uh, okay. you can turn the engine down a little bit. So, same drill as before, Ben. Mm -hmm. So it's one turn for hand pulling, <laughs> two turns when I'm uh, grinding. Uh, three turns when you're three on. Three turns. You, yeah, put it like I showed. Do you remember how I showed you the safe way? It was doing? four years ago, Rick. It was indeed. Wasn't it? Just to remind you, that yeah. you keep your, the butt of your hand away from the winch. Yeah and you pull it out like this, you see what I mean? And you, yep. By twisting your... OK. You never put your fingers in. Yep, I'll do that. What you got on? Yeah. Wow. I have a tattoo from when I rode across the Atlantic. Anchor tattoo is a real statement, you know? Yeah. 
OK, haul away, Ben. Is she getting tight on something? Maybe. Uh, she looks pretty clear. Yeah, is it clear? Crank it on. Try the other way. There you go. More? Yeah, you got a tattoo, but a bit more. <laughs> OK, you'll do. All right. OK. All right, come back and give me He's a hand. He's a hard teacher. This, uh, OK. Ready to ready? unfurl the staysail? Yes, I'm ready. Unfurl the staysail. Cool. Whoops. What happened there? You don't know your own strength, Ben. I'll just pull it up here. No, that's not that one. I can probably come up and show you how it's done if you want. Yeah, you have got a tattoo after all, so <laughs> nothing you don't know now. I may not be an experienced sea gypsy like Rick, but I like to think I have my uses on deck. It's this one here, I think. Which one? Look, is it not this one here? Oh, it's wrapped around here a bit. All right, yeah, see if you can uh, untwist that. Well spotted. Now, haul on that one, I tell you to. OK. All right, haul away. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Right. Look at that. Golden. Totally golden. With our sails unfurled and the tropical winds pushing us towards the horizon, I think how lucky we are to have calm moments like these.